The tiniest injuries can cause a lot of damage. And sometimes you don't even know what bruised you. At first, the bruise might not seem to be bad enough for any concern, but over time, the injury could become serious and need treatment. A bruise is a common skin injury that results in discoloration of the skin. Blood from damaged blood cells deep beneath the skin collects near the surface of the skin, resulting in what we think of as a black and blue mark. How bruises occur? People typically get bruises when they bump into something or something bumps into them. Bruises can occur in some people who exercise vigorously. These bruises result from microscopic tears in blood vessels under the skin. Unexplained bruising that occurs easily or for no apparent reason may indicate a bleeding disorder, especially if the bruising is accompanied by frequent nosebleeds and ble bleeding gums. Bruises in elderly people frequently occur because their skin has become thinner with age. The tissues that support the underlying blood vessels have become more fragile. Bruises are also more common in those taking medicines to thin blood. Some people bruise more easily than the others. Hereditary means that you inherit traits from your family members that you may or may not get yourself. For example, if your mother has a thin skin and always bruise easily, chances are that you will also have thin skin which would make it easier for you to bruise easily. Patients with inherited clotting problems such as hemophilia or acquired clotting problems such as patients with liver diseases such as cirrhosis can develop extensive bruising, unexplained bruising or even life-threatening bleeding. Sometimes spontaneous bruising is a sign of bone marrow problems. Symptoms of a bruise Initially, a fresh bruise may actually be reddish. It will turn blue or dark purple within a few hours, then yellow or green after a few days as it heals. Bruises change in appearance over time, and it may be possible to tell by looking at a bruise how old it is. A bruise is commonly tender and sometimes even pain painful for the first few days but the pain usually goes away as the color fades. When it first appears, a bru bruise will be reddish looking, reflecting the color of the blood in the skin. By one to two days, the reddish iron from the blood undergoes a change and the bruise will appear blue or purple. By day six, the color changes to green and by day eight to nine, the bruise will appear yellowish brown. In general, the bruised area will be repaired by the body in two to three weeks after which the skin will return to normal. Because the skin is not broken, there is no risk of infections. On occasion, instead of going away, the area of the bruise will become firm and may actually start increasing in size. It may also continue to be painful. There are two major causes for this. First, if a large collection of blood is formed under the skin or in the muscle, instead of trying to clean up the area, the body may wall the blood off causing what is called a hematoma. A hematoma is nothing more than a small pool of blood that is walled off. This may need to be drained by a doctor. A second and much less common problem occurs when the body deposits calcium, the material that makes up the majority of the bone in the area of the injury. The area becomes tender and firm. This process causes heterotopic ossification. This condition is diagnosed by an x-ray and requires a trip to your doctor. Most bruises fade away within two weeks without treatment. More severe bruising and hematomas may last a month or longer. The following steps can help you heal faster. Rest and elevate the injured area to prevent swelling and relieve pain. Apply ice packs for the first 24 to 48 hours after injury. Wrap the ice pack in a towel and apply ice for no more than 15 minutes at a time. Repeat throughout the day. Apply a heating pad or warm compress to the injured area after two days. You can apply heat several times throughout the day. You can also take pain medication to relieve pain.